In this video I'm going to show how to add a button to the multi-pane chart, also referred to as a footprint chart. The multi-pane chart includes any chart type that fits within the architecture that will allow multiple panes to be applied to the chart, which of course is the way the new footprint works. So we want to add a button that will, basically we're going to add two buttons, one that will change it from a bid ask uh, to a footprint profile or the other way around. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to right click the chart and I'm going to choose add button and you'll see it's automatically going to add a button for me since I've been playing around but here's the menu it'll bring up. I just right click that button and I said edit button. Here's what you may see. You may get a menu that asks uh, to add a button and you want right here where it says purpose you're going to see all sorts of options. In this in this specific case we just want to make it so we, we want to change the chart style that's what we're trying to do so I choose that and notice you'll get a menu that will come up here based on what you chose for the purpose choose what footprint type you want the button to activate and so we've chosen footprint bid ask now I've added it twice so I'm just going to leave it there uh, once and then I'm going to choose custom title. I'm calling it BA for bid ask footprint. Now another way we could have done this is to do a menu button and I'll maybe do that here after we're all done. I'm going to click apply, click OK and now you can see the bid ask. So now when it, if I were to click this it would change it to a bid ask. However it already is a bid ask chart. So now let's create one that changes it to a footprint profile. I'm going to say add button. You can see it just basically put in another one for me here. An easy thing to do will be edit. Come in here and I'm going to just change it to say FP for footprint profile. Click the drop down here, go down to footprint profile. And make sure you edit here so we don't have it. You just got one. And click OK. And so now if I click the FP, it'll change it to a footprint profile. If I want to quickly go back to the bid ask, I can click bid ask. All right, so now let's look to add the menu button, one that we looked at a minute ago. Okay, so now maybe an easier way to add this footprint chart type menu would be just to right click and add button. You can see it, it did put in, this is what it put in since this is the one I was just playing around with. It basically put in the last thing that I was messing around with. So I'm going to right click it and I just want to edit this button. And I want, I want it to change the chart style. I'm going to choose menu. I want it to be a menu. And if you don't know, you can just look in here for the code. Basically you see FPBA would be footprint bid ask. FPDE would be footprint delta and I'm going to do footprint profile FPFP. So here's how we'll do this. I'm going to just say FPDE comma and then space FPBA for the bid ask footprint comma space FPFP for footprint profile. And I'm just click OK and you'll see it'll change. It changed the icon to the chart style. I can click at it and you see now what it, it shows the footprint. There's the bid ask. If I wanted to go to the delta I could quickly go to the delta. So this way it takes up less space and gives you quick access to what you need. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any other questions feel free to always contact us or view our knowledge base and do a search. Thanks and make a great day.